Well, let's talk a little more about the latest trends on the labour market here in Germany and in the European Union as a whole. We've got Marcel Fratscher with us from the German Institute for Economic Research. Welcome, first of all. Just how vital are these workers from abroad for Germany, would you say? They have been quite vital because in the last few years we have seen a big immigration wave into Germany, 370,000 in 2012, a similar number last year, uh, and that really have helped the German economy uh, grow more quickly. Uh, the German economy has added a lot of to the labor force, it has grown, um, people have paid social security contributions, taxes, so all in all it has been a benefit for the German economy. Is it enough though to help with Germany's skilled labor shortage? Yes, it does help. I mean, there's a big discussion within Germany how big that skilled labor shortage is. Uh, but we see, by and large, a very large number of very skilled people coming to Germany. So the majority of people coming into Germany are skilled workers uh, that help fill those, those gaps. Now, Germany's long been Europe's economic engine. Germany's set to get stronger and there are some saying that it could start tipping the balance, that it could start uh, being, having negative effects on the rest of the Eurozone. What, what would you say about that? No, I think it's really a win-win situation, both for Germany and for the rest of the Euro area. The countries in crisis see an emigration wave, people going into Germany, UK, other economies growing. Uh, so it helps them, uh, for instance, by lowering social security contributions, unemployment benefits to those people. Uh, and in the long run, there's no certainty that those people will stay in Germany. They may just come temporarily for a couple of years till their own economies are recovering. And then this might well reverse. So overall, in this crisis situation, that's exactly what we want to see. So, so you're saying it's not a brain drain for other countries because these, these people are going to continue working and can come back home at some stage with a lot more. Exactly. It's a temporary brain drain that lowers the burden on those countries paying unemployment benefits, social security contributions. And in the long run, I think for the all of the European Union, this is a benefit for, for all the countries. What about the benefits for Germany? If we take a look at the figures quickly, there has been a big turnaround, as you mentioned. Instead of a steady flow of people leaving the country, there are now a lot more people coming to Germany, putting net immigration forecast for 2013 at over 400,000. Now, a majority of these migrants come from Poland, as we can see here on our graphic coming up any moment. There we go. Romania and Bulgaria are also important, the poorest nations in the EU, I should point out. And many Italians have been escaping their country's economic woes for work here in Germany. What does this mean for the Germans? It means for the Germans, first of all, that um, people from those countries coming in are on average more skilled. They tend to be younger. Mm -hmm. They have a higher likelihood of paying social security contributions. They tend to have more children. Uh, so they both add to economic growth and they also buffer the demographic decline of Germany. And this is a big challenge we have in Germany. So also from that perspective, it helps Germany reduce that challenge. The new year has ushered in new chances for those in Bulgaria and Romania. As you mentioned, uh, these are skilled workers coming from, from these countries. So uh, a good thing in, in, in that respect as well for Romania and Bulgaria and Germany? It is certainly true that you have a number of people who uh, have less education, less skills. That is true. We should not hide that. But mm -hmm. we should also emphasize that by and large, people tend to be very skilled. So to those economies, of course, there is the issue of a brain drain uh, that might hurt them in the short run. That is very clear. Uh, but in the long run, as there is an integration process, also Bulgaria and Romania will benefit uh, if those people move back. Mr. Fratcher, thank you very much for your time.